Transfers, 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 transfers. What is going on, guys? Jack95 Gamer here, and I'm back with a brand new episode of Transfer Rumors. And as you probably just saw there, if you were paying attention, the first thing we are doing is Arsenal, and the rumored players we joined them straight off the bat is Gabriel Paulista. Now, he's only 72 rated, but he will get a massive upgrade in January, trust me on that. On head to head, he's already rated 77, so he'd be at least getting that kind of rating. And if move to Arsenal does get sealed, he will be getting that rating. It, it'll be just, you know, it'll be set in stone. He will definitely get that uh, rating upgrade. But anyway, yeah, between the two sides, he has agreed a fee. Um, yeah, he hasn't actually agreed anything with Arsenal, but Arsenal and Villarreal have agreed a fee for him to join Arsenal. And, you know, until personal terms are agreed, this deal. Looks like it's going to be happening, you know. I'm not going to touch on it. The deal, the chance of this one happening, I'm going to say, is a solid 9 out of 10. I think Pelista will be an Arsenal player by the end of this transfer window. Uh, by the way the stories are going and all that, I can't see why not. So he'll be a really good sign. He'd fit in well there. You know, he's got good stats. He's, got, he's quite pacey. And, you know, it'll be a great defensive cover from Matasaka and Koscielny. I don't think he'll get into the first team. But, like I said, Arsenal need all the cover they can get in the centre-back positions. They are after West Ham's Winston Reid, reportedly. But they put a bid in for Polista, so it doesn't hurt getting more defensive covering for Arsenal. And again, I think it'd be a solid signing for him. And we are back with my old club. Well, not my. What am I saying? My old club. My club, West Ham United. And the transfer rumor for them is Bam, Manchester United's very own Darren Fletcher. Now, as a fan, I don't know how I feel about this. You know, Fletcher's not the worst of players. You know, he can pass the ball, but. It always seems like he's passing backwards, you know. It doesn't seem like a player that would bring anything to the team that probably Kevin Nolan doesn't or, you know, definitely not what Emil Furtano does. You know, Emil Furtano, I feel like he's a better player than Darren Fletcher. But, again, you can't hurt to have more midfield cover. You know, he's a good player. He's he's got Premier League. He's a Premier League champion, um, for God's sake. So, he would definitely fit in well with the club. But, again, we're hearing that West Ham, the only team that are interested in Darren Fletcher and the only team that I think have made a bid for him. So, will he fit in at West Ham? I think he will. I think it'll be a good signing. But like I said, I'm not too over the moon with it. You know, it's not a sign that's like, wow, you know, Darren Fletcher. Whoa. You know, he is pushing on a bit. Let's be honest, he's 30 years old. Well, Nick coming up to 30 years. Actually, no, he is. He's nearly 31, actually. So, yeah, you know. It can work. It can definitely work. And, you know... Like I said, it's the midfield cover that matters. But this transfer happening, I'll say, is a 7 out of 10. I can see this one happening also. Van Gaal doesn't need him. Um, and, you know, I don't think West Ham really do need him, to be honest with you. But it could happen, you know. You just never know uh, what Sam Adas thinks sometimes. But, you know, we've seen him make worse signings. And, you know, that I, I wouldn't be over the moon, but I'd welcome Darren Fletcher. So let's just say that one. OK, we are back with LFC now, Liverpool Football Club. And a transferred player rumoured to be going to them is a rather very unlikely one. Uh, let's uh, just stick to that. And they are in for Karim Benzema. Now, we hear these sort of rumours every single transfer window. And you just think to yourself, what the hell? What the hell? Surely not. We are not going to be seeing Karim Benzema joining up with Liverpool. Let's be honest. Why would you? No disrespect for Liverpool fans. Uh, I think Liverpool are a fantastic football club. But who in their right mind would leave Real Madrid for Liverpool? Now, no disrespect. I wouldn't leave Real Madrid for the likes of... <laughs> I wouldn't leave Real Madrid probably for any team unless it was Bayern Munich or Barcelona. And... Unless, unless, obviously, your position come under threat. But Benzema's position is not under threat, you know? He plays up front near enough every single game for Real Madrid. His position has never been in threat. And I can't see it happening. But Liverpool, importantly, pay, or making a bid of 40 million euros. So we'll see how that one goes. I don't think it will happen. The probability of this one happening, I'd say, is a 3 out of 10. I just can't see it happening, in my opinion. But you never know. We've seen stranger things happen in football. And we've seen Sanchez, Ozil... Di Maria all jumped ship to Premier League clubs from their Spanish clubs, but that's because they was out of sort of position. So I don't know what to say on that one, but what a sign it would be for Liverpool if they could get him in. And that would mean that possibly this man here could be on his way out. Who knows? Okay, the next transfer is Chelsea Football Club. And I'm sure many of you guys would have heard about this. It's the £27 million deal for Cuadrado to Chelsea. 
Nah, what a signing this would be. We touched up with Marco Royce probably going to Chelsea, but you know, we don't know what's going to happen with that one. This one looks more likely for for to happen, you know. He was at the Liverpool Chelsea game, but again, that's pure speculation, you know. It, take, it only takes one person to make up a transfer room, let's be honest here. But you know, why the hell would he be all the way at Merseyside when he has a game in the Italian Cup the next day? I, I'm, I, it baffles me. I'm not sure why that would happen, but he was there. He, pla he, he watched the game, and you know, he, we could see him. We could see him on his way to Chelsea. The manager or the chairman of Florentina said he's going nowhere there's been no interest in him so again this is it's pure speculation most people are saying that a, a fee has been agreed it just needs personal terms so we don't know what's going on there but I say the, the probability of this transfer happening is a 7 out of 10 I can see it happening for 27 million euros that's an absolute steal if they get rid of Mo Salah too for about 12 million they are playing financial fair play like a boss Chelsea if they get Cuadrado their team it's just going to be incredible, and I think the Barclays Premier League will be theirs if they do get Cuadrado in. On to the last and final transfer rumour. It is in Spain. It is Atletico Bilbao, and the transfer player rumoured to be going to him is Iramendi from Real Madrid. Now, what a buy this would be for them, I think, in my opinion. You just look at their squad right now, and they have a solid squad. You know, Munain, their striker, I forget his name... Adaruz, Ad Adaruz, Adaruz, and Suzetta. Oh my word, what a team that this is they got up front. And then midfield will be packed with quality. Not going to lie though, they do have midfield quality in Rico. But Iramendi is a young talent, you know. He can bring your team to heights, you know. Right back, you know, Ariola, very good one. San Jose, Laporte, Balaziga. I don't know if I have to say that name. And a goalkeeper. That can make Aleko Bilbao maybe a top four team, you know. That could push them, you know. That could restart their season. You know, they can change with the likes of uh, Valencia, Villarreal, who are on tons of form this season. So, I can't wait to see if this buy does go through. Because they've got a really good squad. And I, I think the reported fee for Ira Mendy would be 25 million euros. So, we'll have to see how that one goes. I think it could happen. I could see it happening. Real Madrid don't need him. They've already got the young 16-year-old uh, Odegaard in for them. So... We have to see how that happens. But that is going to bring an end to this episode, guys. I'll say this... Uh, oh, wait. I didn't even say it. The lightness of this transfer happening, I'd say, is a 7 out of 10 also. Because I can see it happening. He can fit in there. And he looks like a good fit in this team. And he can really kickstart his career. You know, when you think about it, do you want to be at Real Madrid where you're going to be sitting on the bench? Or do you want to play in first team football? A lot of players don't have their mor that morale anymore. Their morals anymore, so should I say. So... It'd be good to see if Iremendi will jump ship. So yeah, 7 out of 10, I'll give this one. But anyway, guys, that is going to bring an end to this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. If you're new around here, then make sure you do hit that subscribe button too, guys, for more Ultimate Team and Career Mode content. As always, thanks for watching the video. Hope you have a really nice day, and I'll catch you.